Foster joins us after a Essex win at Swansea. James, we seem to like out ground cricket, don't we? Colchester now here. Yeah, two very good wins. Uh, really pleased. Um, look, I thought it was a very much a team performance over this four days. It was a lot of hard work. That's what four-day wins are about. I'm absolutely delighted for the boys. So, you know, we're, we're still in the hunt for promotion. And indeed, you did so well without the influence of Graham Napier, really. Well, certainly had influence in the first three overs, didn't he? Took no for real further part in the game, certainly with the ball. Um, and he was uh, absolutely in scintillating form. Yeah, he was. You know, it was a big loss, obviously, with Graham on that sort of... He's on that sort of form, you know, that sort of momentum, you know, as, as you've seen throughout his career, he can take wickets in clusters. And um, But, you know, but other guys stepped up. Obviously, Monty had an incredible game with the ball. Um, I thought Jesse bowled extremely well, um, as well as well as the other spinners. So it was a, a real good performance. Um, you know, I thought this wicket would have broken up a lot more than what it did, but it didn't. So it was uh, even then chasing the 340. Was, I still felt we were going to have to bowl well to, um, to to win. Yeah, indeed, 11 wickets for Monty, but you know, the support that came from all different quarters, and perhaps that's the strength of this Essex team, isn't it, James? Yeah, it is. You know, we've got a lot of options. You know, it always helps when you've got batters who bowl, and uh, that's exactly what we got. Um, so yeah, it was it was a thorough all-round performance by by the whole side. Yes, indeed, and uh, just a bit frustrating we couldn't finish them off last night. Yeah, it would <laughs> be nice. It would <laughs> be nice to get back for the wife's birthday today. <laughs> so I'm obviously in the bad books, but. Um, <laughs> Look, it was you know we, we tried everything last night. Um, obviously, took the extra half hour, and we just thought we might have just um, got a little bang bang last night, but it wasn't to be. But we came back today and we managed to finish it off. So absolutely delighted. Um, you know, but boys are really pleased. And as I said, you know, we've got a little bit of a rest now um, before. Well, sorry, well before our, our next four-day game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it'll be important to rest up a few bodies. Obviously, getting to the business end of the season. It's been a long season so far. So. Uh, chance to rest some bodies. But here we are with just over a month to go. In, you know, real live hopes in both competitions, haven't we? The uh, RL50 and, of course, the championship, which is really boiling up to something really interesting now. Three games left. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, we've got two at home. So um, that's, uh, you know, get, hopefully give us a nice bit of momentum into the back of the season. And obviously, we've uh, we've qualified for the um, for the 50 over competition. So confidence is very high at the moment. But I think the exciting thing is also is that in both competitions, we still haven't probably played our our you know, best cricket, um, you know, where there's patches which we can definitely improve on, um, which, which for me is very exciting. Yeah, indeed. Let you go, James. You know, just stop off and get a bigger bunch of flowers, won't you, for the wife? Even a birthday card will do. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Thanks again for your time Cheers. and well played. Thanks. Cheers.